Hey guys and welcome back to a new Roblox tutorial video. Today I am showing you how to set up Alvin Blox's piggy kit and actually make it work. So um I he he I'm giving him full credit for this because he did make the model. It does say do not re redistribute, so I am not redistributing it. I am making a tutorial on how to use it. So um yeah credits to him yeah and i'll show you guys how to set this up because i do realize my last tutorial was horrible and um yeah i'll just use this right now so and show you guys how to do this so m once you get this model which will be in the description into the game you want to put the stun script in the server script service as it says right there um there we go um Oh, is this? What game is this? I just loaded up a random game. Fine. Oh, it, okay, it's the correct one. Okay, awesome. So, now we got that stun script right there. We're going to ungroup um, in your game logic script. Okay, so. Yeah, I think we need to make the game logic script. Oh, that's a big part that we gotta do. So, um, we gotta ungroup this in the server storage. Uh, server storage. Let's ungroup that there. Control U to ungroup, by the way. That, um, we're gonna use later. So, it does say y it won't be finished here. You can delete the readme and the thumbnail. So, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's ungroup this in the starter GUI. And then we'll see how this works and what we need to add after. Let's ungroup in the replicated storage, chapters, and let's ungroup this in the workspace. Not in the camera, in the workspace. Let's ungroup that. Okay. So, yes, this warning right here says your piggy game will not work unless you watch the tutorial. There's much coding to do first. And uh, delete the warning GUI and starter GUI after ungrouping the model and reading this message. So I'll delete that right there. And let's see how it works right now, because I know it won't be completely functional, but we'll just see how functional it is. Okay, we're loading in here. Oh, wow, and it just crashed on me. Okay, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, we are back, and you see it is not fully functional at all. For some reason, we got a gun right here. Oh, this was what I was working on before. So, yeah, that it, just don't mind that gun. So, we are here, and there is a lot of errors right here. Stun is not a member, a uh, valid member of replicated storage. So, um, we're going to add a remote event to the replicated storage to fix that problem. We have, um, toggle trap is, uh, not a valid member of replicated storage. So that's another event, and I'm just making a list right now. Piggy hit is not a valid member of replicated storage. That's another one. Toggle cro uh, crouch is not a member of replicated storage. Another one. So we got a lot of events to add here. Uh, so you can just um, do the, you can fix these problems just by looking through the output. So we're gonna add all these right here. So I'm gonna go through this and it says in the output that stun is not a member. So I'm gonna add a remote event directly into the replicated storage and it will be called stun. And then I'll duplicate this and I'll create one called toggle trap. And then I will make another one and that will be called uh, piggy hit. Okay, is that all? And then toggle crouch. So toggle crouch will be in there. And that looks like it. The rest is just my stuff, so I'll delete my handgun in here actually. And I'll delete that. Okay. So, there is some GUIs in here. Let's see what they are. Uh, this. Okay. So, that's the directions. Uh, that should be good there. We got a stamina script. I don't know what that's for. Probably something I added in here that's not supposed to be in here. 
we got the main GUI. Let's load into the game and see how this works now. Let's see if those errors are still there. They shouldn't be, but let's see. Okay, awesome. No errors now except for that sound data error. So, except this also. So the main GUI client main. Uh, so replicated storage colon wait for child status. So to fix this error, we'll see how status is used if it's a remote event. Status col no, it's a uh, value. So uh, status e equals status dot value. Top status. So let's see. Top status. Um. Okay. So it's. I think it might be a uh, integer value and uh, int value. Uh, this code has been in. yeah okay. Uh, okay, awesome. Let's read this really quick. Description handles. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, awesome. So we're going to need to add a status screen inside the replicated storage so let's close out of the game this time and we're going to in the replicated storage we're going to add a i'm going to start with an integer value and it's going to be called status status let's see that let's load in again and see how this works Awesome, now we got that working. So now this GUI appears right here. And now it says kill feed is not a member of replicated storage. So now we're getting farther into the script. So kill feed is another remote event that we'll have to add to the replicated storage. The game name is right here, but then we can press play. And now you can see that that's kind of broken, but um, yeah. So I think on the status, I'm going to turn that to 10, because I think that's what we need to do there. And I'll add that remote event main menu. Menu play is not a member of the replicated storage. So we need a few more events. So duplicate, duplicate. And that's going to be, one is going to be menu play. And the other is going to be kill feed. Uh, kill feed, okay. Awesome, let's see if how this works. Okay, awesome. Load that in, and there we go, 10. It, it went away, okay, so announcement is not a member of replicated storage. So we got another remote event, but this is the process you gotta go through. Announcement, awesome. Let's load in again, and we just gotta keep testing because it stops the script every time there's an error. So, got to keep going. Okay. Um Okay, so now we came to the point where there's no errors and it's frozen there. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to see if the, how the store works also. So, let's load in here. Uh go to the store. Okay, the store doesn't work. So, once you press play, it loads you back there, and it should be counting down. Should be counting down. But, uh, let's see, in the main script right here, the client main, let's see what's happening. Intro? Okay, if the play button is clicked, it's gonna become non-visible, the screen, and, uh, the top status is gonna become visible, and that's the countdown, and then... Uh, they're gonna fire the menu play script. So I'm gonna see where that is activated by using find and all scripts here. So menu play, menu play right over here. Uh, that's fire server. Is that on event? Okay, one second. Um, getting a little confused here. Okay, no, not that. Okay. So, the menu play right here, that's part of the script that we don't have, uh, the main logic script, so we don't have something built in right there to continue that event. The camera camera type, it's going to change it back to custom. Kill feed on client event, okay. So, the part that we're missing here is to receive the on-server event for the menu play. So, 
I'm going to try and make this script a lot simpler for you guys. I'm going to add a script into the server script service. And I'm going to call this game logic. And if you remembered from earlier, we do have to ungroup this in our game logic script. So I'll do that right now. Got the door module in there. So right here. I'll do game dot, uh, what was the event? Uh, okay, menu play. Uh, sorry, game dot replicated storage dot menu play calling connect function. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I, uh, I'm doing that today. Dot on server event colon connect function and then we'll put that right there so once they hit the play button it's going to set it back to custom but what we want to do now is we're going to count down the timer so the timer um is going to say what the uh status is in the replicated storage so what we're going to do is we're going to every second so we're going to make a loop for i equals one comma ten do and then we're going to put in parentheses right here we're going to put um game dot replicated storage and then uh dot status okay okay so we do have a little error right here let's see what that is expected do when parsing loop Okay, so we got a little error here. For i equals 1, and then, okay, one second, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do here is we're not going to use this loop right here. We're going to paste this right, and I got this from the Roblox website. So while well, time remaining, so we're going to say game dot replicated storage dot status dot value is greater than zero we're going to uh print the seconds remaining equals and we're going to copy this the value right there paste that right there and every second we're going to say equals that minus one so it's going to subtract every second and then we'll say okay so now sorry about the we have to detect when it becomes zero. So we're going to say, we're going to make a while, yeah, maybe. Okay, yeah, while, wait, and do. Okay, so if, uh, we're going to say, if the game dot, oh, I spelled that incorrect. Replicated storage, yeah, I put the H right there. <laughs> so I got to put that, there we go. Game.replicated storage, and we'll just copy this again. So, if that equals um, that, well, actually, we really don't even have to do this because we're going to, it's going to keep playing that until it gets zero. So we're going to say after that, um, if that equals zero, then we're going to say print game start. And let's test that out right now. Okay. Let's get the headset on. Oh, I saw an error. Okay. Oh, equals equals. Yep, I made a little mistake there. Let's continue. Okay, there's another error right here. Uh, what's the error here? Okay. That's fine. That should fix on its own. Okay. It did not fix on its own. Line one, why is there an error here? Okay, what I'm gonna do is 
Game dot replicated storage should dot menu play. Um, I'll try game colon get service. That works sometimes. Replicated storage dot menu play dot on server event colon connect function. Okay. There we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, there we go. And now game start event occurs. And then the player should get teleported to the map, which we'll do very quick right now. And then that will be the end of part one of the new series, I gotta mention. Part one of the new series of this. So uh, let's do that. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, where is the map? Do I have the map here? Okay, the chapters. Chapter 1. I'll put that into the workspace just to get the position. Okay, chapter 1 is right here. Uh, let's get uh, a position right here. And we're going to say that. Okay, yeah. So game, uh, just a lesson here. Game call and get service m sometimes makes your script work instead of... um. Just put game dot replicated storage. Put game colon get service replicated storage. So I'm gonna grab that position right there, and this is the easy part. We're going to next tutorial. We might make a fade for this to make it look better, but right now we're gonna just make it teleport. So once it prints it game start, we're going to wait two seconds, and then we're gonna say, um, we're going to put right here. Actually, we're going to put player, and then when we fire it, fire the event from the client main here, we're also going to put game dot players dot local player. So we get the player variable right there, and then we'll say player dot character dot hum yeah dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals c frame dot new and then paste that position in and this position might be different for you guys so i advise you uh, put it in the workspace because that position might be different but let's see how this works let's see how this works okay play and you guys can always change the text of this okay game logic infinite yield Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Zero, okay, one, two, there we go. We are teleported to the map and can continue, even though the doors don't work and we can't do anything right now. Uh, we are in the map, and we will work on this part in the next tutorial, so make sure to stay tuned. I hope you guys all enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, and peace. Well, peace. Okay, I didn't have the stop recording button ready.